Now at 5.30, a man living in Delaware County has been charged with immigration fraud and perjury. The feds say he took part in genocide during a decade-long civil war in the African country of Liberia. Authorities say the accused war criminal lied on his immigration application when he stated that he had never engaged in genocide. Eyewitness News reporter Joe Holden is at federal court in Center City right now with more on the case. Joe, good evening. Yuki, Nicole, good evening to you. And the federal government has flown in a whole host of witnesses to take the stand at federal court in this trial. It really is a case of who knew an alleged war criminal living in East Lansdowne. On the 14th floor of the federal courthouse, chilling tales flow from the witness stand of torture, murder, rape, and cannibalism. Mohamed Jabate is on trial for failing to disclose a towering list of alleged war crimes when he sought asylum to the United States 19 years ago. Known as Jungle Jabba, federal prosecutors say he was a former commander in a Liberian militia. Jabate is seen posing with children who fought in his militia, a violent group that prosecutors say publicly raped, maimed, and killed civilians, innocent women and children. A woman on the stand pointed out Jabate after seeing this picture, telling a jury he fatally shot her pregnant sister and later tortured and raped her, she says. Jungle Jabba, after failing to disclose his association, settled here in East Lansdowne, Delaware County. I really don't come out too much. He's been in federal custody now for a year, an alleged war criminal whom local police say had never showed up on their radar living quietly in Delaware County, Pennsylvania. I'm surprised about it. Yeah, because I didn't know that. And Jungle Jabate in court is dressed in a navy blue suit. He has a beard and he shakes his head at some of the details, really horrific details coming from the stand. We have to underscore that he has been living here quietly because when we checked in with East Lansdowne Police, they say they've never had any record of trouble at his residence. It is predicted this trial in federal court could last upwards of a month. That is the story live in Center City outside federal court. Joe Holden, CBS 3 Eyewitness News. Joe, thank you.